he was the one who, who, who knocked C.J. Bryce out of yeah. commission. And it was at a shoot-around. And it was the last play shoot-around. He, he dunked and swung his hand out and uh, caught Bryce right on the chin. But, Opening uh, tip to the cane. I uh, know the Wolfpack, uh, very happy to have him back. Miami comes in 10 and 5 overall. They're 2 and 3 in the conference, 3 and 1 on the road. Coming off a Sunday win over Pitt at home. Magusti driving. Nice wraparound pass for the jam and a beautiful way to start for Miami. Miller with his first two. And it's uh, this is a, a Miami team as if you thought has been very consistent. Same starting five the whole year and that's rare that you see that even this early in the season. So some continuity there and uh, Magusti he's gotten off to a terrific start. The runner no good by Johnson. Taken down by the Canes. The Wolfpack, 11 and 5. Also 2 and 3 in the conference and 9 and 1 here at home. The loss was to Georgia Tech in overtime. Yeah, it's interesting. You got. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, we talked about it. Have that rim protector to clean up mistakes in the back always helps. And Thunderbird is fouled going up. Manny Bates lives to block shots. And here it is, and it's and that's a nice recovery coming from behind. It looked like it was an easy layup uh, developing for Miami, but uh, Bates coming in to save the day. Rodney Miller picking up the first foul, and this free throw drops in for Thunderbird. You know, he 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 had, he had seven blocks in a game earlier this year, Bob, and. You know, if he gets off to a hot start, there you see the freshman uh, record for uh, for blocks with 51 already, and we're not even halfway through the season. Um, but you know, if he gets off to a hot start, we, we talk about the the Hurricanes and the hot goalie. <laughs> a shot blocker is the same way. Exactly. The other, if the other team starts looking for him, that last line of defense likes off the bounce. Chris likes. With his 15.3 average and his shooting numbers are all up from a year ago. You know, Joe Yagaki, the radio play-by-play -play from Miami, asked me about him to compare him to somebody. I said, Muggsy Bogues comes to mind for those who remember back that far. But, it, you know, one of only 13 players in the country under 5'7", you know, on division, you know, in the, in the Power 5 conferences. And another nice feed inside, and Miller delivers another jam. Well, you talk about small players. They used to have one here in Raleigh, Spud Webb. Yeah. Yeah, different. I mean, more athletic than Muggsy and, you know, could, could dunk and, you know, have actually won the NBA dunk contest <laughs> one year. Monty Tao was pretty good, too. Yeah. Six to two, Miami. I think you or I could be pretty good at that position with David Thompson <laughs> yeah. and Tom Burleson and <laughs> Tim Stoddard. And not, not to take anything away from Monty, but... <laughs> Funderburg picks up his first as we check tonight's Ford Keys. One of the big keys for Jim Laranega, don't turn the basketball over. Yeah, no, he, he talked about that and, uh, you know, getting shots and, you know, it's, it's, it's probably the, the worst time for him to have Bryce coming back because NC State over the last four games has only averaged 10 turnovers forced, and it's because they've been, you know, short in the backcourt. But now they can you press up, and Kevin Keith told us that, uh, you know, probably would your keys don't turn it over, and then NC State back to the pressure. Um, but, you know, NC State now can get back to the way where, you know, they're going to pressure up the court 60% uh, of the time. Mm -hmm. Canes off to a quick start, lead at 7-2. Look at that 3-1 true road record. That's, that's interesting. The NC State's been really good at home. Miami very good on the road. One of those aforementioned turnovers. Wolfpack won the only meeting of the year last year between these two ball clubs in Coral Gables. And Miller already had his, uh, he's already had his season average with a terrific finish inside. Markel Johnson, and he's he's really, Bob, I think, the, uh, the barometer for this team. When, when he plays well, 
they normally win. When he has an off game like he did up at Virginia Tech, they struggle. Yes, he was two for 14 against the Hokies in that game. And I think, Mike, you know, when you watch NC State play, the, the level of high expectations for Markel Johnson, two wing heavy. Yep. No, and, uh, you know, it's just, well, you know. There's some of that pressure. Self-inflicted self wound right there, a tough pass. But, you know, the <laughs> the better you become, the more is expected yes. of you, and the higher you move up the uh, scouting report, and teams prepare for you differently. But it uh, should be a terrific matchup at the point with Johnson and Likes. Just a little long on that one from Markell. Here come the Canes, up 7-5, to five, early in Raleigh. Chris likes the dynamo that drives this hurricane engine. Shoots an air ball, and it's out of bounds. Yeah, and it's, uh, I don't know that that was the best choice. I think he's trying to get himself involved in the offense, but there was 15 seconds left on the shot clock, and uh, he was well covered by Johnson. Braxton Beverly. He, too, struggled against the Hokies, had just five. Mike Young and the job that he's done oh. early in coming in. What a great addition Fantastic. to the league. Yes. Nice scoop to the hoop and diving in, Devin Daniels. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's been struggling. It's, and I like the movies. Last two, he's 0 for 6 from 3. So you're not hitting a long-range shot. Get in and get yourself a nice, easy bucket early. Tips. Out of bounds. It belongs to Miami when we come back. 15-35 to play. Opening half at PNC. Their best win of the uh, season so far. And uh, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, for Miami, that win against uh, Clemson in overtime is looking pretty good. Likes missing. And we've got a hell ball here. Arrow gives it. To the Wolfpack. And so Bryce comes into the game for the first time. The, you know, he was uh, anxious to, to get back out. Here's CJ and averaging 16 a game. And both, you know, and in, in all sports, I mean, concussion protocol has really come to the forefront. And, and you know, whether it's on the professional level or college, or just, okay, be really careful with that and make sure that the uh, the player is 100% before he comes back. Ellums rises, fires, misses. Long coming down with it for the Canes. Likes gets inside. State collapsed the pressure and then the turnover. Great block. Good job by Wardenberg. That's that size, Mike, you were talking about in the pregame. Yeah, and he did a nice job getting back, and I, I, I thought that um, Johnson had a step on him, but it you know, got a decent recovery and missed that shot as well. And you see, they're, they're, they're setting a lot of high screens for likes to try to get him into the paint area, and another great block. There's some, 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 some rim protection here early in this game from both teams. Six points for Miller. That's, right. That's above his season average already in this game. Daniels catch and shoot three. That's the one thing the, the Wolfpack has struggled from behind the arc over these uh, last few games. And another rejection. 9-7 is our score. Pack running, and that's an offensive foul. Nice job. Just a little out of control on the rush up the floor and a uh, gritty play by Likes to step in. Yeah, C.J. Bryce and, you know, I, th I think Bob, that was just, he's so happy to be on the court. Yes. You know, I want to try to make something happen early here. He's missed four straight. Miami, we talked about 
wanting to limit turnovers, but that's not been the story yet. Four miscues already, and a lot of the defensive concentration, Mike, is going toward Likes to try to get the ball out of his hands. Fires, hits, and a chance for a four-point play. Braxton Beverly got him late. There's the look, and again, you get, you get the, the space, the drop off that time by Dixon, and uh, I, I wasn't. <laughs> I think that falls into the category of another no, no, no shoot it, nice shot, you know, for Jim Laranega. Sub coming in, Beverly checks in for Miami. And Beverly just a, a little bit shorter than um, Markel Johnson, so mm -hmm. I, you know I think that helped in that particular situation helps Likes get a little better to look at the basket. Wolfpack just two of eleven from the field in the early going. Price trying to make a move on the big man. Kane switching shot clock at seven. Johnson off the wrong foot, but got it to go anyway. You, know, you talk to Jim Laranega, and the, the most important stat for him is the opposition field goal shooting. Mm -hmm. And they're 15th in the country, or in the in the ACC right now. So that's a that, that's a number defensively that has to improve for them. Wardenberg drives in, got pushed, and a foul. I believe Dixon got him yep. twice and got <laughs> called for the last one. Well, and, you know, for Warrenberg, he's a little more athletic. Dixon not as comfortable guarding away from the basket. He saw he had an opening in the lane, a nice take for him. So Big Sam steps to the line. 12.34 to go in the opening half. Seven against Pitt on Sunday. Let's check out some of the scores. Around the conference. The Louisville Pitt game going into overtime. Cardinals pulling it out. Everybody knows about that big Clemson win. Virginia Tech over the Deeks. And how about that Syracuse BC score? My goodness. Yeah, BC and arguably the surprise of the conference early on. And Jim Christian uh, and his team doing well, but uh, having trouble finding the basket against Syracuse tonight. And we got a foul on the Wolfpack. That's going to be number two. number two on Dixon. Subs coming in. Bates returns. Thunderbird is back. He's going with a couple of bigs out there. On the cut, Wong. Pulls it back out. Shot clock at 13. Walk goes up. Spinorama in the lane is short. See, that's, you know what? Bates forced that shot. He, so he was right underneath the rim. And, uh, you know, he, was, he saw him there and took the fade away instead of trying to go right to the, you know, for the layup. Drive with the left hand. Follow is good by Thunderbird. <laughs> DJ coming off an 18-point game against the Hokies. Well, he's had, and that's a bit part of his game that's gotten better, 16 offensive rebounds in his last four games after struggling in the first part of the season. Likes, what a move to get through that lane, but then threw it out of, out of bounds in the corner. Eating the offensive glass, D.J. Thunderbird, the red shirt junior from Cleveland, going to work here, and the Wolfpack gets a bucket out of it to cut it to three. Love about that. He goes to block the basketball, not to take a swipe at it, no. you know, not to come down on somebody's arms, you know, commit a foul. He's just up there to protect that rim and block the ball. Well, and keep it in play. Yes. So that one of his teammates can get it and start a break instead of having it go out of bounds and, you know, Recycle the possession. Gets good block out position on that miss. 
Tell you what, I'm impressed with this young man's skills under the basket. And you know what? It, it really allows your perimeter to take a lot more chances. You know, you feel like you got that guy behind you. And the three ball goes for the Wolfpack. And Andre connecting. He's averaging just under seven points per game. A big shot for the Wolfpack. So despite their woes shooting from the outside, they've come back to tie the game. Yep. Vasilovich answers with his own three. He's a guy, too, that's, I mean, he's, he's made one free throw, but that's his first field goal attempt of the game, and uh, we're halfway through the first half. He's got to see more. He, he has to get more touches. Beverly, left hand glass, too strong. Follow, and a foul. That took the worst of that right in the chops. Wardenberg picks up his second with 8.52 to play in the first half. Let's see if there's, you know, where Andre got hit, if there was any any blood or anything. And uh, nice job of, you know, sometimes the, the, the best thing you do is if you can't corral the ball, keep it alive so a teammate can get it. And that's what happened on that play. So I'm not giving up free throws here. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'll just aim at the middle basket. <laughs> Grant transfer. Stepping up the line. He's 18 of 20 at the stripe this year. Here's a good ball movement by the Wolfpack. Yep, and that's a, you know, that's that drive inside. That extra pass right there is the one that, uh, you know, that's, that's really unselfish basketball. Played three seasons at Lehigh, now with the pack. Second one pops out. 17-15 Miami. Keynes hang on to it. Mike's being defended by Johnson. Mike's into the paint. Shot clock at three. In and out from Augustine. Johnson with a little scoop to the hoop. Nice shot creating that shot on his own in the uh, pump fake inside by the smaller point guard. Three times Miami has built a lead. Three times the Wolfpack have come back to tie it. Likes. Yeah, I, think he, I think he's he settled right there because he had, he had a big on him. And uh, here's... Danny Bates doing what he does best, protect the rim. Now they only have one assist. Both teams combined have only three assists, so there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one play going on. But, um, you know, at least NC State is giving themselves a chance. Miami with five turnovers already. Rodney Miller had seven against Pitt Sunday. He's got eight tonight. That's a 1917 game. Markel Johnson. Funderburg. Pack can't save it. That is the second turn for the Wolfpack. The bounce, three-pointer off the rim. I was watching him work on that and shoot around today. That little side the evasion dribble, that one dribble, still keeping it a three-point shot. A good look by Vasilovich, but just couldn't knock it down. Beverly commits his first. Braxton Beverly comes in for the Wolfpack.
Just under seven to go, first half. Thunderbird for three. And this one is going to go out. Last touch by the Canes. You know, Bob, when, when offensively, when Bates sets the screen, his player can stay with Johnson a couple extra steps because Bates isn't a you know, huge offensive weapon. So you can be a little late getting back. And I mean, he's not going to pop. He's going to roll into the lane. Thunderbird right to the hole. Nice move. Perfect move. Fifth tie of the night. A little cold streak. Might look for likes. This time down the floor, he's buried in the weak side corner right now. Off the bounce, a quick shot. Likes is going to scamper to get it in the corner, and it goes out of bounds off the pack. Miami very fortunate to get the ball back here. Take a look at Thunderbird here with this drive. Yeah, so here, here's the look. There, there's the, the step up and the good swing of the ball and uh, showing some nice ball handling skills. He tried to feed the post earlier, but uh, thought better of it and good finish for him off the bounce. Likes. Oh, they left him alone and he buries it. Step back action, you know, when you're that size and you get into the lane and you know that uh, Manny Bates is in there, that's not the worst shot in the world. He knocks it down. Runner by Johnson. He's taking things a little personally. Nice offensive rebound by the pack. Thunderbird screens, rolls. Johnson puts it up there. A foul on Miami. Rodney Miller guilty of his second foul. Yeah, here's the look. Nice uh, the defense gets caught looking uh, a little bit. Rodney Miller from the backside. And, and that's really, and that's where Bates is going to score most of his points, Bob. I think he, he, he got plays off the penetration, gets on the offensive glass, and the occasional lob. Now this word from Works. The Work Switch Driver. With two rotating chucks, you can switch between bits in a second and get projects done twice as fast. Manny Bates, two for two at the line. My projects never get done twice as fast. They never, <laughs> they never get started. <laughs> Should have gotten you one of those for Christmas. I'm the least handy man on the planet. 21 all. Likes from the line. Gets the... The love of the rim on that one. Yeah, and he got the, again, they, they like to run that high screen roll. Sometimes they'll get two guys up there, but uh, instead of penetrating and kicking out that time, he stopped at the free throw line. Nice decision. Beverly lets it fly. That one's over the rim, knocked out by Miami. He's, he's, he, he just looks like he's hoping right now and, instead of just being an instinctive shooter. He's 0 for 5. And that's, and that's kind of been where he's been over the last few games. And, you know, like I said, for shooters, all it takes is one shot. You, 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 you knock one down, and all of a sudden your body language changes. And, you know, the, the thing that he can't do is, you know, stop shooting. Mm -hmm. Well, you played with enough guys, Mike. The old philosophy, shoot till you get hot. Well, and you got to have amnesia, too. You know, you're one for 19, and you think you're on fire. <laughs> nice body control by Daniel. I didn't think, you know, the referee is a part of the court. I didn't think Tim Clockerty was out of bounds. I think he kicked it. He kicked it. Yeah. Okay. Into the post to Miller. Oh. Guys, the up and under, Wardberg there. 
Canes at five on the shot clock. This one hits the rim, and it's rebounded by Johnson. Yeah, I mean, nice offensive rebound, but because it didn't hit the rim, they uh, they were kind of caught having to take a bad shot. Good steal by Wong and a foul on the back. Brings us to a timeout at 351, opening half. Both back. And the Canes tied up. The halftime is a, it's a little surprising that the three-point shot hasn't been more of a factor in this game. Both teams combined three of 14. Is it not? This is a one-and-one one for Wong. Is it not, in your considered opinion, one of the most overlooked aspects of the college game, and that's how teams close out halves. Uh, yeah, and that, to me, how you close out the first half and how you begin the second half are, you know, the critical eight minutes in the game. Uh, and, you know, especially like this one, it's kind of plodding along. Nobody's been able to really separate. Beverly. There it is. Well, that could be it. I mean, now... Misses are forgotten. So let's let's take a look at the 325 mark. What he does going forward. Or back in the first lead, and they get the turnover. Hard bounce ahead to Daniel. Goes back in toward the paint. Now circles out. It's tapped away. Uh, look at you know, Beverly was hunting that three-point line too. He, you could mm -hmm. see him. He was letting the, that break unfold in front of him, and just waiting for things to flatten out. Tries another. They put a little, Miami's got a little bit of a, a taller cover on him with uh, McGusty's 6'5. It's a high screen roll again that's worked pretty well. Tell you what, Vasilievich hasn't been much of a factor in this game at all so far. Long with the drive, rebounded by Thunderbird. Johnson thought about it, put it back in the holster. Yeah, nice transition on defense that time by Miami. But, and around the ribbon in for Hello. Yeah, he trumps them with a better three, 34% from downtown. Jim Laranego, he just, this is what we talked about the last four minutes. Yes, he, he doesn't want to go, it's only a four point lead, but he doesn't want to let things get away. Here's Cole Helms from the outside. Yeah, nice little brush screen. Good look at it. And this is, you know, it's it's, it's a timeout. It's, it's one of those, it's, you know, use it or lose it timeout, really, for, for Jim Laranega. So a, a good job for him to maybe quiet things down, calm this game down in the last two minutes and 25 seconds. He's had the game, I think, Mike, at the pace that he wanted. Yeah, I mean, it's an NC State really hadn't gotten out a lot and, and caused some things. Conversely, Miami hasn't either. Back-to-back -back threes, a 6-0 run for the Wolfpack. Kevin Keats on the right, his ball club getting the lead on these last two possessions for the first time tonight. 2.25 left in the hand. think with the, the misses that NC State has had that there would have been some opportunities for Miami to get out and run, but they haven't been there. Reach in, loose ball, kicked by Miami. So the pack will get it. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah, let's see. Might not be legal, but Isaiah Wong kind of a little quasi bicycle kick, <laughs> scissor kick there on the floor. Into Thunderbird. And a foul on the double team. No basket. Beverly 
guilty of his second. One and one here for the Wolfpack. And it's a uh, pretty nice job by Miami, you know, defending without fouling, getting, just getting into the bonus with a minute 54 in the first half. We talked about Sam Wardenberg early on that bench, fighting tendonitis issues. And one point, 12 minutes. He need his size desperately tonight. He is offense. Yes. I mean, it's, you know, they're not, you know, they got five double figure scores, and not, it drops off after that. Trying to go to lights on the baseline. 17 on the shot clock. Three double figure scores. So. Were you a math major or two? Be negative. Yeah, I'll say don't worry about it. <laughs> Johnson hits the break. Beverly. That's ooh. Got away with a push. Laying is good. Nine straight points. They got a we call it the way of game, I think. Yeah, I think a flop warning. A flop warning. Yeah, so he, he, he knew that uh, you know Devin Daniels knew he had a smaller player on him. Ball goes up, blocked from behind by Ellis. What I saw was that elbow that Daniels threw. It was a <laughs> and did nothing but air. Yeah, I mean, Tim Carter, he was, he was right in front of the play, too. So, you know, he just said, play on. If you don't sell that call, it's an easy two points. And another attempt by Vasilovic comes up short. 32-25. Fun to burn. Beverly. Still trying to find a range. And we got a foul on Miami. Well, he, hadn't, uh, he hadn't built on that make like I thought he would. No. You know, I thought he might go on a little bit of a run. Isaiah Wong's first foul. Helms to the strike. 76% are at the line this year. Jim Laranega, ball club, played the Wolfpack even for the first 16 minutes of the half. Late spurt here by the Wolfpack. Canes have missed their last seven. And so janitorial services are needed in the lane. Like I said, I'm, I'm not that handy. <laughs> they didn't ask you. I my broom at home. <laughs> They knew better. <laughs> and let Jaminski talk. Yeah. Thirty-four point five left in the half. Six uh, six seconds between shot and game clock, so the Wolfpack could get a, a run back at this. Pressure here by the Wolfpack. You know, it's, it's something I don't see in a college game. I know it's, it's, you can't do it in this situation, but two for ones. You don't see that whole lot. No, you yeah. know. That's going to be a backcourt violation. Wow. Ike's oh, just really oh. just lost concentration. Totally. Now. If they could say, I don't know if they gave him the full, another, the, another 10 seconds. If you recall, Miami had inbounded the ball, and then the officials stopped play as they cleaned up the wet spot in the lane. And there should have been another 10 seconds after that. So let's see what we have here. 
this is the full last play. Well, it looks like he made it. When did that ball come in? Yeah, good, uh, good correction there. He did. He touched the line at 20. It's good. Likes at mid floor. Daniels. Thunderbird misses. Three seconds, two, one, one. Wins it out. That's the half. Yeah, too bad. That would have been a, a nice way for NC State to go in the locker room and uh, could convert on that. Uh, wasn't the greatest pass in the world, but still, don't try to dunk it. Just make the bat, you know, make the play. We're talking about closing out halves. And no run. Well, there you have it. We're at the break and rolling. I'm here to announce my retirement from sports. The pressure it takes to play at nine is not what I expected when I started at five. I obviously can't compete at this level. Yep, and yep. pressuring Miami there, they know they can't get to the hole. Yep, no, me, you know, having many mates back there is a, and here it comes, and look at, wow, that's a, that's a nice take, and it's a good adjustment. You've got to throw high shots off the glass against the block, shot blocker like Manny Bates instead of trying to get it on the square. You've got to put it up top, and that was a nice uh, drop by the Silva. First possession for the Wolfpack. Daniels from 15. Seems that, that both teams really concerned with transition defense. They're not sending a ton of people to the offensive glass. They're just getting a lot of bodies back. Miami somehow gets it back. Uh, Silvich, too. I mean, that's you know, something NC State's got to come up with. And Likes went down hard. You could feel that one here on the floor. I wonder about his elbow on that, that play. Daniels. Second foul. <laughs> I, always, I always marvel at all right, and here's the take. I mean he's he's very you know we've he's diminutive but he's pretty strong and uh, fell right in it. But the, the players who come over and want to grab you and lift you right off the floor when you're lying there in agony. Give me a like, second. Yeah, just let me take some inventory here and then I'll let you know when I need a hand up. Let's make sure all the parts are still connected. Dusty has it scratched. Wardenberg only one point. The Canes have crawled back to within four. Good, good response to them in the first minute and a half here. Thunderbird corner three. Nothing but net. Only his third made three of the year. He was two of nine coming in. Likes gets through the lane, saves it. Back to the baseline and a turnover. Maybe a little over dribble that time. Daniels with the spin. And a foul on the follow. Thunderbird to the line. Miller on the call. Is the. Well, you talk about shots that have disappeared in the game. The baseline two. Yep. Yeah, that uh, short corner, you know, not a. Well, I mean, you, you look at the, the mid range game, you talk to most coaches, it's like the fifth most preferred shot. I mean, you're talking about post ups, drives, free throws, and three point shots. That 15 foot jump shot is, you know. It's going the way of the dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you look at the civic, all right, he's shooting 46% from the field. Shoot 42% from three. It makes sense for him to take a three instead of a, a mid range two. Thirty-eight twenty-nine. Wolfpack. Likes uh, trying to get some airspace. Tipped and stolen. Markel Johnson a two-on-one. Beverly missing. And Markel Johnson on the back. 
And how about the job of Thunderbrook on the other end of the floor, keeping lights in front of him? Like, you know, you're, you're a guard like that, and you see a big in front of you. I mean, your eyes get like saucers, and he just he kept him in front and caused the turnover. Likes. I gotta check that elbow. He came down hard. Well, I don't know if there was some blood or uh, you know if that was an issue as well. And it, 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 this used to be an automatic um, come out of the game, get it repaired, and uh, now they're you know they're they're a little more lenient with if, if it's something that can be looked at. If it's you know if it can be addressed you know pretty quickly, they let him stay in the game. Here's that matchup with Thunderbird. Yeah. He gets stuck in the corner, and Thunderbird even denied him the kick out for the three to start that break. Likes. Well, and if you're going to do that, um, you know, that's what you do with a shot blocker. You go right at his chest. And pretty gutsy play by Likes. But, uh, you know, you're behind in the second half. Look, he gets the crossover here. Again, he gets past Funderburk. And you go against both of those guys. He took on both of their bigs and came away with free throws. Chris Likes gets another free throw. Now a word for Bojang. Say good morning and mean it with two hefty, zesty Bojangles sausage biscuits. It's bow time. Ninth of the league in scoring. Chris Likes now has 14. He's averaging 15.3. Miami with a deficit of seven now. Markel Johnson. Daniels lobs it and a jam for Bates. Reward the big fella. Yeah, and that's uh, again with him. Those are the ones if you can, you really have to try to limit. If you you know make him be a, a shooter from even five or six feet as opposed to getting dunks. Likes blocking foul. Number three on Daniel. Oh, he, just, he, he guessed. He guessed right. And uh, you know, just couldn't get there in time. It's the explosiveness of uh, number zero for Miami. Probing. Floating, hitting. He's, uh, he's right now just putting Miami on his back. 16 for Chris Likes. 40-33. Back by seven. See what the Wolfpack starters have done tonight. Johnson delivers a three ball. His first of the night. And State has its biggest lead at 10. Miami made that nice little push early on in the half, but the Wolfpack have responded nicely. Well, they've got to get somebody else involved besides Likes. Yeah, yeah he can carry you for sure. Look at that follow shot. Wow. He is some kind of fun to watch. Shortest guy in the court and comes up with the ball a second time just because he was more aggressive and quicker off the floor. Johnson goes in. Thunderbird in the corner. Stepped out of bounds. Timeout. 15.36 to play in Rawling. Back by eight. Home. And, um, you know, you just, you just wonder right now where, and that's what I said, I, I don't believe that there are any great teams in the ACC at this point right now. There are a lot, there are some very good teams at the top. Blocking foul on Manny Bates. You know, early on it was like a, a curse to be ranked number one mm -hmm. anywhere. 
You know, they were they were dropped. That was changing every week. And you know, the talk of Duke, you know, 99 times out of 100, they beat Stephen F. Austin. And they would have been undefeated. Then they go to Clemson and lose. Yep. There was a lot of talk about Duke being the dominant team in the country. Gonzaga. Nobody sees their games. <laughs> Back here in the East, that's for sure. But what a quality team I've got from a, our view. I've got a curfew. <laughs> I've got to watch those games. And he got the defender in the air. And it's foul number one on Helen. Or second. Second foul on Helen. Well, let's see if the curse we need. But, uh, Filovich, 33 st straight free throws going back to last year, 28 of 28 this year. And this actually missed one earlier in the game. So they get you off the hook? Yep. Is that what you're saying? Yep, completely. Well, this is, and this is a good way for him to maybe, you know, find some rhythm. I said, you know, I talked about getting an easy shot, getting a uh, getting a layup, getting to the free throw line is a, another way that you can well, just you know, see the ball going through the basket. They're checking to see whether that's a two or a three, and it will be a three-point attempt, so three free throws. It's amazing to me how, how many times a defender will bite on a pump fake from three. Mm -hmm. uh, it you know, makes no sense. You know, you're, you're talking about one in a hundred. How many times are you going to block that shot, even though it was a taller defender on him? But the, the, the end result is getting a guy who's struggling, and he knocks down three shots, and all of a sudden he's starting to feel a little better about himself. DJ comes through, and... Miami Mike hanging around in this game despite their shooting woes. Likes carry them. Beginning of this half, still a ton of time to play. Well, that's what you want to do on the road, you know, try to make it a, a 10 minute game or try to make it an eight minute game. And then, you know, see if you can finish somehow. Kevin Keats helping Jeffrey Clark make that call. Number two on Chris Lyons. Well, well and the issue right now for NC State is they've got they've got 16 fouls. One more, they put Miami in the bonus early in the second half. A little more physical as we come down to the stretch. Three is good for Helen. He's got seven. Both field goals have been threes. Nothing much to speak of from the outside for the Canes tonight. Two of ten on the game. Augusta gets into the paint. Nice wraparound look. Fade in and out. See the state ball. Even, you know, that the, the size, even though uh, Bates is not on the floor, that made him dribble out of there and take a jump shot instead of go right up to the rim. There are shot blockers and there are shot changers. Oh. And young and then there are guys is both. Then there are guys who make you look around and say, <laughs> where is he out here? You know, where is he? Helms drops it in. He's giving them a nice lift. Yes, he is. So giving him uh, the, the third scoring option. Sophomore from St. Louis. 48-38. Let's see Levich connects. He's, he's, the, uh, he's the last guy, and I refer back to those three free throws. He's the last guy that NC State needs to have, you know, get him going. Thunderbird. Isoed. Could have, I think could have done more with that because there's no double team on that side. They gave him the whole clear out on that right side. 23 on the shot clock. Daniels replacing Beverly.
in the pack, take it away. They've got a four on one. And it's an and one. Life's the only guy back. Really poor execution on the baseline out of bounds by Miami, and it turns into a possible three point play. You know, Bob, it amazes me how many teams have trouble getting the ball, just getting the ball in right there, and nobody really came to the basketball. But uh, good conversion for uh, for the Wolfpack. Ellum's putting that two for 14 shooting behind him from Tech the other day. And even though he misses the free throw here, he has been a key factor for the Wolfpack in building this 10-point lead in the second half. Well, he's capable. He had 23 in the win against Wisconsin earlier this year, so he can, he can have a big night. Likes. Rebounded by Price. Threw it away. Ains taken away. In and out. Follow. No, and a personal on the Wolfpack. Third on Helms. Long to the foul line. Now a word from Myrtle Beach Golf Trail. Myrtle Beach Golf Trail. A new way to experience golf in Myrtle Beach. Visit MyrtleBeachGolfTrail.com. Ten point spread. Free throws big. And there's two misses. And a foul on the Canes. Wardenberg picks that one up. He's, he's been quiet, only one point from him. Augusti, no points, 0 of 6 from the floor. So they're two of your main scorers who really haven't contributed. They switched that foul to Miller. So he's got four now. And that's what the Wolfpack's been missing. And that's uh, it, it, his first basket of the game. And you could tell that, obviously, with, with the rust there and not having played in the... Uh, you know, Jim Laranega wants to try to stop the bleeding here. Welcome back, C.J. Bryce. And C.J. Bryce missed four straight after suffering that concussion in late December. Another, and, another turnover on an out-of-bounds play for Miami. And they have another commercial. We take the second off the mic about the Clemson players. When you do what they've done over the last week in Chapel Hill and beating Duke at home, you have to feel like we can beat anybody. Yep. Well, I, you know, to me, I, you know, I've always talked about the the hangover effect of beating Duke and beating North Carolina, mm -hmm. and they validated that North Carolina win with coming back. They could have easily been. All right, you know, just so spent from that, but they came back and, and beat, you right. know, beat Duke at home. Right. So that was really impressive to me. And Clemson will be here Saturday. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'm setting up my tent here, and uh, we'll be here for uh, for that game, two o'clock on Saturday. On many of your regional sports networks, 52 to 40. 11-10 to play. A no loose ball here. Canes have it. And a foul. Uh, just a, a bailout foul near half court with nine seconds left on the shot clock. And, uh, and you put him on the free throw line. I mean, this ball is up for grabs. Good 50-50 job that time by Vasilovic fighting for the ball and uh, gets Funderburg to foul him. One and one for DJ. Kevin Key to the Wolfpack with a fairly comfortable lead. If you want to, if you're NC State, you want to put these guys away. Yeah, 10 points and, yeah, not give them, you know, a, a, a second life. The good thing for Miami, they only have 14 fouls, so they're away, away from putting the Wolfpack in the bonus. Man, that pressure pays off. That's going to be an over and back. And I don't know if they're going to, Kevin Keats is up there saying that ball was tipped. And they're going to overturn a good piece of officiating by 
Mike, Mike Ease and Tim Quackity getting together. <laughs> Kevin Keese was, he was up there in a, in a New York second. Ten on the shot clock. 10.45 to go in the game. And a push. Uh, to see Out of bounds underneath for NC State. Daniels on his own shot. And he's got Johnson in the weak side corner. They didn't see him. Didn't matter. As Daniels puts it in. He was, he was determined to get that ball up on the rim. Fifty-four, forty-two. Likes off his foot. Really nice closeout on shooters that time by NC State. Pretty good spacing by Miami, but they couldn't get a good look. 12 Miami turnover. You know, you know to your point earlier, Bob, that NC State really hasn't gotten those turnovers after that nice basket. With full court pressure, right? It's uh, you know they haven't had to come up and press like we, we thought we might with you know with Bryce. Let's take a look at CJ. Uh, look. This is uh, he gets Beverly to fall down, which gives him a wasn't quite an ankle breaker, but uh, he got enough room to get a look. This is, you know, it's a 13-point game, but Miami keeps getting to the line. It's going to let them linger a little bit. Mm -hmm. Likes bid for point number 20. 56-44. Miami has 44 points, and Chris Likes has 20 of them. Well, he and the with 33 of the 44. Bingo! Braxton Beverly. Said they actually got likes off the ball, making him a score. What a good job by Helms of denying Excellent. him the ball. Beverly turns and hits. First field goal for the 6 4 freshman. See what the call is going to be here. Called charge, I believe. It is going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, the team is stepping in outside the block charge lane. Fourth on Helen. Second chance opportunity. Beverly. Well, the one thing we have seen, Mike, with Miami tonight, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of isolation ball. They don't have many assists in this game at all. Two to be exact. 
<laughs> which is which is really rare. And they end up with a layup on their fourth try, which which means as in this game. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just more right now of getting rest instead of saving those timeouts for the end of the game. You know, because the next stop at your play is going to be another you know timeout. Under Berkeley shoot two. Third foul on Sam Wartenberg. This will put DJ Funderburg at the line. Yep, solid 75%. Rare for a frontline player these days, it seems like, to shoot that high. Over his last seven games, he's averaged 15 points a game. That one I'll take responsibility. For. Yes, yes. Nice for you to fess up. <laughs> big, big man's union. Yep. <laughs> 7.35 left. Oh, Dwayne is stolen by Bryce. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it, obviously you're out that long. It takes you a while to... Get used to being back on the floor, but I think uh, Mr. Bryce is uh, feeling a little bit in rhythm. No luck for Wong. 61-48. Miami extending their defense out a little bit. Johnson, no. There's the big man again. And although DJ a little frustrated that that shot didn't go down, he has been a presence on the offensive glass. Both teams pretty even. Um, both teams 12 offensive rebounds, 12 points. First free throw, good. Oh, you're talking about brutal. Mm. Uh, you could look at everybody's schedule and say the same thing, but they go back to Florida, they go back home to play Florida State, then have to come back up here and play Duke and North Carolina after having been here in this arena. Fourteen for Thunderbird, timeout State. Well, that's like, you know, if, if you're a coach this league, I mean, you can't, you really can't look more than one or two games. One. One maybe down the road. Yeah. I mean, if you look at your schedule, you're just going to, you'll get fixated on one or two parts of it and maybe lose a little bit of focus. You know, the only thing that I can really compare it to and take you back to your professional playing days, it's almost like the playoffs. You know, you win a game and you think, oh, man, we got it going now, and then you run into that next opponent. You just can't look farther ahead than the net. We're playing 20 conference games. I mean, it's going to be hard on these teams. What do, you what do you think the Clemson faithful were thinking when they saw at Carolina home against Duke? Ooh. You know, were they thinking two wins at that point? No. <laughs> Here you are. Turn around, and that's crazy. exactly what happened. You know, Seton Hall won at Butler tonight. There's another ball club. They've lost one game this year at Baylor. He became the number one team in the... <laughs> They're in their own conference. Right down the pipe. Lay it is good, and a blocking foul. Caught the basket. Well, that's a nice play out of a timeout for Coach L. Well, and the, you know, I love the execution out of a timeout. And, you know, you see your team is locked in. And I tell you what, Miller did a really nice job. He almost got passed into a charge right there, but pulled up just enough. I think he was below the shot block line. But, um, you know, didn't complete the three-point play. But uh, Miller was a factor early in this game offensively. 63-50. Thunderbird turns. Yes! 
Yep. Hey, got one to go. Too, too deep a catch right there. He did a nice job of getting in front of Miller. Follows up his 18 at Virginia Tech with 16 tonight. Well, and Miller's got to, Miller has to be careful. With six minutes to go, he's got four personal fouls, so he really couldn't do much with that play. Costly turnover at 558, and that's 14 now for Miami. And more Trying to coach Larinaga before they shoot around about that. And that's one of the things he was he was concerned with. But in fairness, I mean, you know, NC State has played well defensively, but a lot of the turnovers from Miami have been self-inflicted. Shot clock under 10. Spinning. Is Daniels, and he's a double figure. Biggest lead for the Wolf Pack. They stretch it to 17. Likes missing. Tip is good. Rodney Miller having a big night tonight. Well, what, what happened there, Thunderbird went after the block, and it was a nice soft shot, and that just opened up the front of the rim and the offensive rebound for Miller. Thunderbird and one. Huge second half for DJ. You know, that's, NC State's got a, they've got a nice schedule coming up. They've got some home games. And with C.J. Bryce back, if they get a couple guys going, you know, they could sneak up into that upper third of the league and, you know, see how it plays out. 18 points tonight. You know, I love what I've seen of Thunderbird. Um, you know, I love, uh, you know, Bates has been a revelation for me. Yes. Um, you know, they got, really a lot of the, they, got, they got a lot of the boxes checked. But you see what they did tonight. You win a conference game, you bounce back, you get the win. Now that sets the stage for the Clemson game. Well, and, they, you know, they, they've, got to, they've played well at home. They've got to go on the road and, you know, get some, pick up some road wins. Vasilovich. And that's good from three. 16, second three tonight for DJ. 70-55. Now the Wolfpack spread the floor. Drive, Daniels laying good. Beauty. He's had a solid night, too, and it was a nice use of the, almost the full shot clock that time. Run things down and then get something off the dribble. Mike's trying to find an area. Denied corner for McGusty. Loose in the lane. Scrap is on. Won't back have it. Good effort by Bates. Well, I tell you what, you, know, you talk about you know guys whose name we haven't called, and the guy whose name we have called a lot recently. Devin Daniels, 15. But um, McGusty averages 15 points a game for Miami. Has not scored yet in this game. Time turnover and a lob to Johnson, but he can't control it. A little over exuberance, I think, on that play. Yes. Yeah. NC State. Getting Danny Dixon back into the ball game.
Beverly holds it. There's a, you know, it was, it, it's a nice win, and, for, and Markel Johnson wasn't particularly dominant in this game. Pretty, pretty quiet. Ten points, four assists, solid. Only one turnover. Arlen Beverly plotting to the hole has six. Look at that wolf back scoring. Great balance led by Thunderbird. Yep. You got to think that uh, you know Bryce in a couple of games will get back to you know his average. He's 16 points you know coming into the game. Two free throws coming. Dixon with his third foul. Rodney Miller to the foul line. Came in tonight with more rebounds than shots this season. And he's put together an outstanding offensive game. And showing the touch of the line, too. Good for him. 75 59. Miss followed in by Dixon. <laughs> Sometimes the shot is so far off it turns into a good pass. Step through the hole by McGusty and he finally gets his name of the scoring column. Helms rolls it over. Andre. Three ball up the corner. Rebound Miami. 109. And counting here in our second half. Wolf back to go to 12 and 5 and 3 and 3 in the ACC. Kevin Keats, Mike, has to be thrilled with the way things turned out tonight. Yeah, and um, you know, Miami made an, a nice initial run to start the second half, but uh, the Wolf Pack came right back at them, uh, gradually built this lead up. And I think it was uh, a lot of it, too, is just numbers and guys coming in and performing points off the bench. And uh, NC State just more, more energy in the last five minutes of this game, five to eight minutes. And Thunderbird's second half is yep. outstanding. Yep. Kevin Keats calls a timeout to make the substitutions. Chase Graham. Coming into the ball game for the Wolf Pack. Max Farthing is in. Chris Likes. Finished with 20. Kid, word of God. Yes. And hit one. Tip in is good by Miller. He only scored one point all year. That's going to be a great feeling. And his teammates congratulate him on hitting the three to seal an 80 to 63 win for the Wolfpack over Miami. 